Welcome to the Rockefeller Institute. My name is Tom Gaze, and I'm director of the Institute. Um, I have to admit to our speakers that um, deep in my heart, I've always agreed with Oliver Wendell Holmes once said, old age is 15 years older than I am. <laughs> um, but today we're going to face facts. Uh, as a state, as a nation, and as a world, we are getting older. And that trend has enormous implications for the way we live, for our economy, and for public policies and government budgets. And it's also important, I think, as our speakers will point out, that different communities, different nations, and world regions are moving at very different rates in this aging process and in different ways and in responding in different methods and manners as well. And those variations are also very consequential. So to discuss these changes and their impacts, we have two superb experts. I don't think we can get any better experts on these topics. Richard Jackson will speak first and discuss aging in a global and national context. Richard is a senior fellow at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, where he directs the Global Aging Initiative, a research program that explores the economic, social, and geopolitical implications of demographic trends in the U.S. and around the world. He is also senior advisor to the Concord Coalition, which is an you know, deals with U.S. budgets. Richard's the author of numerous policy studies, including Latin America's Aging Challenge, The Grain of the Great Powers, The Grain of the Middle Kingdom, The Demographics and Economics of Retirement Policy in China, and he holds a PhD in history from Yale University, and a, P, a BA in classics from here, SUNY at Albany. Um, our new home has about one year. Uh, which, Richard Spartamalia will then discuss trends in the aging of New York's population, as well as in upstate New York and the capital region. I'm sorry, Richard, Robert Spartamalia. Uh, Robert is president of RLS Demographics Incorporated, a firm specializing in the use and analysis of economic and demographic data for private and public applications. He is also a faculty member here at SUNY, at SUNY Albany. Robert is formerly director, was formerly director of the Center for Research and Information Analysis at the New York State Department of Economic Development and served as chief demographer of the state of New York and director of the state data center. Among his many activities during his three decades as a professional demographer, he has worked to improve the coverage and quality of the census and served on many state and national advisory committees for the Census Bureau and other state and federal statistical agencies. Robert has a bachelor's degree in sociology from Penn State and a master's degree in demography from Georgetown University. He is a member of the Population Association of America and president of the Association of Public Data Users. Finally, I want to thank uh, the Albany Guardian Society, which is co-sponsoring today's event, and which actually had an event earlier this morning as well. The Albany Guardian Society is one of the oldest philanthropic societies in the capital area. It has served seniors in the region since 1852, either through service programs or until about a decade ago at Home for the Elderly. Uh, Rick Ianello is the executive director. There is Rick in the back. Thank you very much for, for uh, helping us put this together and having this, uh, having this uh, forum. We have two rules. Um, first, right now, everybody who has anything that is likely to beat, um, please power it down. Um, and then secondly, when we do have a question and answer period after the uh, speakers and um, uh, the presentations, please identify yourself if you're asking a question as well as any institutional affiliation you'd like to share with us. So we will again start with Richard Jackson and go to Robert Scardamalia after that. Richard, thank you. Thank you. 